Everybody's out mowing their lawn today. I can't believe it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Do appreciate it a lot. You guys are awesome. And everybody was starting to mow their lawns just a few moments ago. Fortunately, they're finished. So hopefully there won't be a whole lot of uh, extra noise going on out there. Today, we're going to talk uh, about the Rip Snort from Columbia River Knife and Tool. Great little cleaver knife. I've done a review on this once before. So uh, what I'm going to do is put a link down below to that review so you can see uh, the specs and everything on this knife. Um, and I'm going to roll in just a few seconds here uh, um, back at SHOT Show from a couple of years ago or a year before ago, when was it, 2018? Yeah. Um, we spoke to Bryce over at uh, CRKT and he told us a little bit about the Rip Snort. So I'm going to roll that in right now. The Rip Snort is an overbuilt tank of a knife. Big cleaver blade, really heavy duty liners on the inside. This is a great working knife. Philip Booth designed it to be uh, to do all the hard tasks that you could ever throw at it. Fits really well in the hand. That big cleaver blade is great for chopping. It's a really exciting knife from Philip Booth. He's really happy with the way it came out. The smooth handles make it in and out of the pocket really easy. I'm a big fan of that cleaver blade. It's been a real popular style. I've seen it a lot in the knife world lately. So we're really excited to see that new addition from Philip. So I guess one of the uh, the advantages to the knife now and why I'm bringing it up is uh, originally this knife was built with uh, 8CR13 MOV, MOV, which is a, a pretty good steel, a very corrosion resistant uh, and a real tough uh, steel. Uh, but now they're making it available in D2. Uh, if you already have the old one, why not get another one? Two of them are better than one. <laughs> a little, this little meat cleaver thing. Very cool little knife, by the way. Um, yeah, check out the review that I did. I love the way it, it holds in the hand and all that. And it is somewhat substantial. So those of you that like a knife that you know you're carrying a knife, this would be it. It's not overly heavy or anything like that, but it is uh, a rather substantial blade. And I do like it, and it's a good working blade. Um, but now in D2. So get yourself another one, or if you haven't gotten one, now may be the time. Can that open that way? It does, look at that. I was able to do it. Uh, get yourself one, okay? Yeah, that's all I got for you today. D2, yeah, I'm gonna put a link down below too so you can kind of read a little bit about D2. I'll put a link to my, to my blog. Uh, where I kind of uh, take a look at the hardness rating between uh, HCR13 MOV and D2 steel. I'll put the two together. I paused because there's an airplane flying overhead, very, very low. I can, could you hear that? But I'll compare the two steels so you can take a look over there and look at those things. But uh, I would say get yourself one, enjoy it. Good little knife. Uh, they didn't pay me to say that, um, although I do have affiliate links down below and that's how I do get paid. So whenever you use my links, it doesn't cost you any more, not a penny more, uh, but it does help us out a lot here and helps to bring these kinds of reviews and kinds of information to you. Don't forget now, also check out Chicken Tuesday. We've had a lot of uh, uh, people calling in. Calling in? Do people call in? No, they email in about uh, Chicken Tuesday and asking questions. So if you're into chickens and you're into the urban chicken thing and uh, you like eggs and raising animals and stuff, go check that out. Uh, there's a whole playlist. There's a link down below to that too. So you can learn about chickens and, and I'm, I'm always adding to it. And the more questions I get, the more I add to it. So I would encourage you to do that. And uh, well, one other thing, if you're a Patreon patron, I love you guys. I really, really do. We just recently had a discussion with all the Patreon patrons and it was very helpful to the channel. I do appreciate it, guys very, very much. If uh, you're not a Patreon patron and you want to be a part of that and help us and support us and uh, not only financially, but how things uh, go here on the Shooting Guy channel and the things we do, consider joining. I'd love to have you and I would appreciate the support. Don't forget, check out all the links. D2 Steel, Rip Snort, Cool Knife. What else can I say? All right. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. <laughs> <laughs>